Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and safety emergency strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, trucks, SUVs, buses, bicycles, and tricycles. We're here with a nice brand new F-150. I believe this is an STX model. You can see it's featuring our LIN-6 in the grill. It's also featuring our Wicked Stick in an 8-head configuration in the back window, as well as our new LED HAWs in the cargo and the reverse and our tir 3s out back there's a lot going on on the back of this truck so let me show you one more version of the front here you can see that lin-6 in the front grille fits very nicely there horizontally mounted you can run the wiring right up behind the headlight and we've synchronized both of them to fire amber and white together in a fpm 75 triple flash pattern there's a shot of that mounting right there in that little pocket on the grill. Many grills have this area, and you can fit a TIR-3 horizontally or vertically, as well as a LIN-6 horizontally or vertically. Personally, myself, I like to mount the LIN-6 horizontally like this because I believe it takes better advantage of the optics and spreads the light out a little nicer. As you can see out back, we've got quite a lot going on. We've got our LED HAW in the cargo, as well as the reverse, amber in the reverse, and white up in the cargo. This vehicle had the factory cargo lights where we were able to just remount the OEM bulb off to the side. So it was very easy to move that OEM bulb over to the side and mount in place the LED HAW strobe. You can also see our wicket stick in the back window there doing its job. And I believe if I darken up the camera, you can kind of see a little bit better the patterns here, what we're running. We've got an alternation X pattern in the third brake light and the reverse. We let the TIR3s run on their own alternation by the rear plate there. And then we've got a nice pattern set on our wicket stick there. While this truck was in the shop, it also got a bed cover installed here. Obviously, we don't ship those. But if you're local to our shop here in Chicagoland area, we can do your bed cover, we can do your spray-in bed lining, we can do step bars, whatever else you would need. And uh, the thing I like about this Encore bed cover is that it is key matched to the vehicle. And what I mean by that is this key that you see right here, this is coded when you install the cover to your ignition key. So the ignition key for the truck is coded for this. And it works out very good on trucks that still have an ignition key. Obviously, on a Lariat or a Platinum, that's not going to apply. So we would just simply code it to the spare glove box key, they call it, uh, which you do get when you buy those trucks. You get a glove box or council key. So you can code it to that. The other nice feature that we went ahead and incorporated into this truck was the ever-popular flood mode. Now, we did not have that affect the warning. As you can see, the warning here is unaffected, but the flood mode affects only the eight light bar. We're controlling everything from the cab right here and our simple two LED rocker switches right there. Got a simple one for the flashing, another one for the flood, and uh, that way you can control everything that you need right here from in the cab, and it is a fleet vehicle, so sometimes somebody else may borrow it. This way they can see exactly what they're looking for very quickly and easily. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for LED emergency equipment, strobe lighting, and safety public safety equipment for cars, vans, SUVs, trucks, buses, municipalities, and private ownership. Please check the description of this video down in the Read More section where everybody on YouTube puts all their links. Look down in there. I'll have links to each product individually. I'll also have a link to a cart full of all the parts that I used on this build. Just because you bought the cart doesn't mean you have the knowledge to put it together the way I did. So be careful buying parts. Make sure you can handle what you buy. And as always, hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment. I'm getting a little lonely on this side of the camera, so let me know you're out there. Post up and share up, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings.